Hey everyone, Seagraph's going to be very different this year. If you're thinking of going at all, then it's very important that you watch the first part of this video right now on A Cup of Joe. Hey, don't forget to subscribe. We just hit 750 subscribers. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and click the button right now. Go ahead, I'll wait. Like I said, Seagraph is going to be different this year. And what's going to be different is it's going to be a hybrid session. Whereas the previous pandemic sessions were just remote only, this is going to be hybrid where they're going to have an on-site portion and a virtual portion. The most important part to remember is the virtual portion actually starts weeks before the actual Seagraph in-person event. Most importantly, the Birds of a Feather talks will actually start all the way back in July 25th and they're 100% virtual. That's right, if you're gonna to go to a Birds of a Feather talk during the week of Seagraph, you're gonna to have to find a, a corner of the room to watch on your phone or grab your laptop or head back to the hotel because all the sessions are virtual. For that reason, because the Birds of a Feather sessions are entirely virtual, most people have scheduled theirs to be starting all the way back on July 25th, the two weeks preceding Seagraph. There are some folks who have scheduled Birds of a Feather during the actual Seagraph conference. And again, you'll just have to figure out uh, how to step away from the conference and get to a laptop or your phone to attend that session virtually while you're at the conference. I bring this up for a couple of reasons. One, obviously, is to make sure that if you're waiting to the conference itself to get your ticket, get it now because you're going to want that ticket by July 25th. But I also bring it up because not all tickets are going to get you into these virtual sessions. Like I said, they're virtual, so the exhibit floor pass will not get you in, and even the experience pass will not get you in. If you look in the schedule and look at the Birds of a Feather sessions, you'll see what sort of ticket or registration level you need to get in. I just did a video on which ones to choose, and the Birds of a Feather conference for me is a big reason to choose one pass over another. If you look, you'll see that it requires a full conference pass or a full virtual conference pass, or at the very minimum, you need an Experience Plus pass to attend these virtual sessions. So an Experience Plus Pass goes all the way up into the $500 range. If you're not able or comfortable or, or willing to spend that $500 plus, dollars, then it's going to be nearly impossible to attend these Birds of a Feather sessions. It's a little bit of a bummer for me. I wish they would extend the attendance all the way down to the Exhibits Only Pass. I think Birds of a Feather sessions are where people learn the most, and we need people who are new in this industry and younger folks uh, also going to these sessions, not just the folks who are getting paid by their studios to go there. Hey, I get that Seagraph needs to limit some of the folks going to these sessions, but there's also a way to try to include as many people as we can. I found it a little ironic that, for instance, the diversity, equity, and inclusion subject matter is actually only available to the very top level, most expensive passes, which I found, again, just a little ironic. You know, the whole idea of being inclusive is trying to get as many people as we can to go to these sessions, to participate, to learn, to, to add value to these sessions. So I'm hoping that in the coming uh, years that Seagraph can open up the inclusion to be as wide as possible on these type of sessions. I think it would really go a long way, especially with Birds of a Feather. But hey, they've got their reasons, they've got their directives, and uh, you know, I'm not going to stand in front of them. So I have booked three different Birds of a Feather sessions uh, with other folks myself. I've got them listed here. They're going to happen on the Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday before Seagraph. So the week before Seagraph at 10 a.m. Pacific time each day, we'll be hosting a render farming, a storage, and a bridging the gap session. I'll put links below in the in the um, description. So you and I should also mention that one of the birds of a feather that a lot of my cohorts really need to attend is the going cloud native uh, uh, session, which is actually happening during the conference at 9 a.m. So we're expecting that a lot of people are going to stick around the hotel rooms, attend that session, and then head onto the floor. Keep your eye on the schedule. Some of these may get moved around, so this video may get outdated. And if I find out that they're moved around, I'll likely try to put uh, that information down in the description as an update. Anyway, I'm hoping to see you all at Seagraph. You know I'm going to be there. I'm going to be there every day, day and night. I'm going to be on the floor. I'll be hanging out at some booths as well. So reach out, look for me. Uh, I hope to see you there. And if you see me, tap me on the shoulder. See ya.